from Ulta Beauty. But they did end up sending out a 20% off coupon, and you guys see, I really don't need anything from Ulta, but I did order anyway. Back up of my precisely my brow pencil. I've been using this pencil nonstop. Didn't use it today. Using this pencil, and this time I picked up the shade four. The pencil that I had bought that came in the kit was in the shade six, and I feel like my eyebrows was like way too dark. Which I don't mind darker eyebrows when it's like fall and winter, but now that it's spring and summer, I like my brows to be a little lighter. So I went ahead and picked up the brow pencil in a lighter shade. And another repurchase, you guys. I told you guys I am loving this spray, so I definitely picked up two more. It's the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I am loving this way more than. The original version of it so I picked up two of those I've been using this so I had to go run and grab it from my vanity real quick but I actually have this on today as well okay. video but this is the NARS soft matte complete concealer and I got the shade medium dark 3 on Monday so it comes in a little pot like that I'm not really into pot concealers like that but I have been enjoying this one so I wanted to see how it would work out for me as a as somebody with dry skin, I have been using it underneath my eyes and I'm also wearing it above my lip. Have really been enjoying that. So that was basically why I placed the order, honestly. I had to get this. And the fact that they gave me a 20% off coupon compared to Sephora's 15% off, I think it just made more sense for me to pick it up from Ulta. I picked up a backup of the Bronx Colors Boosting Hydrating Concealer. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know I did collaborate with Bronx, with Bronx Colors Cosmetics. And I really did. This was like one of my favorite products. So I wanted to make sure that I had a backup of it. This is, but this is their Orange Correcta. And I have been using this on a, like an everyday basis. So I definitely had to pick up another one of those. And then this is... <laughs> wait. <laughs> Pulling this out is just hilarious to me right now. After all the nonsense that has been going on with Shea Moisture this week, are you guys up to what's going up to date with what's going on with Shea Moisture? Like bananas. That commercial that they put out was just so bogus. I can't believe it's just a mess. Like I'm not mad at Shea Moisture for trying to diversify their brand, and you know, of course they want that crossover appeal, just like Pantene did. Yeah. Like they, Pantene crossed over to women of color and they try to include you know different hair textures and stuff like that it was just the way that Shea Moisture went about it with theirs I don't know if y'all saw that ad in that commercial but please but anyway I ended up buying this after I ended up buying these two after seeing the Glam Twins they did videos featuring these products you guys know I really do love the leave-in conditioner of the same line this is their Jamaican black castor oil strength and grow and restore line and in addition to the leave-in that I picked up during my last Ulta sale, I wanted to go ahead and try their conditioner of the line and then also their hair serum from this line. So this is all the Glam Twins for right here. But I think these were buy one, get one half off. And again, I had the 20% off coupon. So, And of course, you get samples. I did, as usual, get the fragrance samples now because I keep telling you I hate Ulta samples. So now I just get the fragrances. And I got another Gucci Guilty, which I believe I got in the last Ulta haul that I got from, that I showed you guys. So I got a Gucci Guilty. And this one is Calvin Klein Deep Euphoria. I'm going to smell this because I haven't smelled a Calvin Klein fragrance in like forever. It just reminds me of something like kind of old school. And that's what I equate Calvin Klein with. Kind of old school. So whatever oh okay guys i forgot all about this too i did end up picking up two wigs um earlier in the month sam's beauty had a sale and it was like 40 percent off or something to that effect so i did pick up two units and definitely stay tuned because i'm gonna do a video on both of these units i was thinking of doing like a battle with the affordable wig kind of thing same way i did the battle of the subscription bags the ten dollar subscription bags i was thinking of doing these because i believe both of these was like twenty dollar wigs so the first one that i picked up is the sensational empress lace wig and it's in the style evelyn i got the shade dxt30 which i'm not sure if it's the same color of the model but that's what it looks like there that's what the unit looks like there 
Oh no, DXT30 is actually more blonder. It says it right here on the back. So that's the shade I got there. I just wanted to have some fun with color. And then this one is actually more of a natural hair texture. This is the Outre Lace Front Lace Front Wig. It has the L part lace. And this is in the Style Test. I got a shade number two. And that's what that unit looks like there. So I'm really excited to try those units out. And then last but not least, we are going to get into my Sephora order. I did not go crazy when it came to this VIB sale. You guys have been seeing how much I've been hauling lately. Like and luckily, I can say that there's not too much stuff in the stores that I actually wanted nor needed. First thing I see here on top is my 500 point perk. I did pick up the Fresh Forever Fresh Sephora Beauty Insider. This was 500 point perk. It comes with four different products. It comes with their Soy Face Cleanser, which I'm pretty sure I have a sample of that already. I have a sample of the Rose Face Mask as well. Then it also comes with the Rose Floral Toner and then the Sugar Nude Tinted Lip Treatments with Sunscreen or SPF 15. I freaking love these sugar lip scrubs. Not scrubs. Lip balms, lip treatment, whatever they want to call it. But I love those sugar lip balms, so I definitely wanted to pick up that set. For 500 points, you can't beat that, so I wasn't mad at that at all. Next up in here, I have the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist. You guys know how I am with my setting mist, so I wanted to try out the one from Kat Von D. Because y'all know Kat Von D makes sure her stuff is bulletproof. I freaking love her... Um, the Lock It foundation that she has. So I figured I'd get the setting spray and hopefully I can make the rest of my foundations and stuff that I wear bulletproof just like that Lock It foundation. But this is what the bottle looks like here. Uh, it comes with four fluid ounces of product. So I think you get a, not, a, a good amount of product in that package. Ever since this came out, I knew I had to get it. I had it in my loves, and I knew I was going to get it once this sale came through. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This one is in Translucent Medium Deep. I have not cracked it open as of yet, so I'll definitely be using this in that same full face and new makeup video. But you see it has that brownish tint, unlike the loose, trans the loose setting powder. I didn't want to buy it during the colder months because... I told you guys before, I've had a love-hate relationship when it came to that powder because being that I have dry skin in the winter and the colder months, it just didn't work for me. It would, you know, it would dry the hell out of my eyes. But now that we're getting into the spring weather and it's getting warmer and everything, I definitely had to pick up the medium deep powder. So, of course, I'll be featuring that in that full face new makeup video. Stay tuned. Not even a backup. I had to re-up on this because I finished out my bottle and I feel like my skin has not been the same ever since I've I did. So this is the Quarterly Serum SOS. I'm saying it wrong. Uh, SOS Thirst Quenching Serum from Quarterly. And that's what that looks like there. If you guys know, I told you guys that I freaking love this. It's a very hydrating. It's a hydrating serum, which my skin absolutely loves. So I definitely had to get a new one. And the last item of this haul is also skincare related. This I picked up the Sephora Favorites Quench Your Skin. And it's just a set of a whole bunch of different moisturizers. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I have tried the It Cosmetics Moisturizer. Eh, confidence in the cream. I found it to be really thick. And I, with my dry skin, I kind of prefer something that actually absorbs into the skin better not to say that it didn't absorb but it's just such a thick cream like when i put it on my face i want to feel like it's actually hydrating so that's why i wanted to pick up a whole you know whole array of different moisturizers so i can see which works best for me i've also tried the belief true what's that the true cream absolutely love that that stuff is really really good it's not as thick of a consistency as the it cosmetics one and i feel like that one absorbs much better oh another josie moran 100 percent argan oil that's always a good look so i love having these argan oils and i had an oil in my um shopping cart when i was shopping at sephora and then i had to think to myself like i'm not going to be using oils too much like i'll use them overnight but i have some in my Draw, um, you know, I have some in my collection already, so I, it, didn't, it didn't really make sense for me to purchase one right now. That can actually wait till the fall. So I'm really excited that I had the, another Argan Oil in here. 
And then other features in here is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. I've heard great things about that. Of course, we all heard great things about Sunday Riley. I'm really excited to try that. This is the Lalo Retro Whip Cream. I've never had that before. Is that the name of the Okay, so I didn't even know that this one was from Drunk Elephant. So it's called the Lala La Retro Whip Cream. Really excited to try that. I'm really excited to try Kate Somerville. This is her goat milk, goat milk moisturizing cream. I have tried the um, First Aid Beauty moisturizer here. I've tried that. Had no problems with it. Really excited about the Dr. Drop Water Drop. And then this is the Ren Clean Skincare Ever Calm Global Protection Day day cream so i'm guessing that has like some kind of spf in it and then of course you get oh i used another i think 250 points which i'm so disappointed that i even spent 250 points on this because i don't like the smell but this is the dior poison girl got a deluxe sample of that fragrance um babe had a fragrance in here too this is the hermes tear the hermes fragrance it was, it smelled really nice on him. I don't know why I ended up back in the box, but he probably just threw it back in here. And then this one smells just like, I think like all the Vagari scents, they starting to smell alike to me. So this is nothing I would actually purchase either. This is the Vagari Amiya Crystalline mm Hunger. -hmm. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you enjoyed from the haul. Let me know. Really quickly after this, I am going to film just a quick little PR haul because I have a couple of things that I'm really excited to share with you guys about from PR, which I don't want to prolong this video. Should we prolong this? Nah, I'm going to do a whole nother video on that. So definitely stay tuned for that video. That'll be coming up later this week in the same outfit because I ain't about that life. You guys know I just got home from work and I ain't about to change for no video. But um, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you bought from this from these sales i'm hopefully going on another low buy because it just makes no sense i don't need to be buying anything else right now so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to catch you on the next one and until next time